Hi everyone, and today we are looking at an example of inverse proportion. It's not direct proportion. Actually, you can think of it sometimes as the opposite of direct proportion. And so we're going to use a question to kind of illustrate. If y is inversely proportional to x, what does that really mean? So inversely proportional is kind of like the opposite of direct proportion. So let's, uh, let's kind of break it down. In, in direct proportion, we saw y equals to kx, where k is some constant. Think of it, it is some kind of, it's just a number. And you can see, if x increases, if x becomes a bigger number, y naturally will increase. right? And of course, if x decreases, y naturally also decreases. In inverse proportion, it's the opposite. You want some equation, but such that when x increases, y will decrease. So what can it be? In inverse proportion, it is simply this. y equals to k divided by x. On the right-hand side, you have, for direct proportion, is k times x. For inverse proportion, it's k divided by x. That's just the simple pattern there. And immediately you can see if x increases, so if you're dividing by a bigger and bigger number, think of it, if x is a very, very big number, like 1 million, 1 billion, what will happen to y? The bigger x is, the smaller y will be. And so the inverse is true, right? If x increases, y decreases. If x decreases, y will increase. So this is the relationship for inverse proportion. So over here, if it says y is inversely proportional to x, immediately I can think, is that if y is now inversely proportional to x. And so whatever's on the right will go into the right. Whatever is on the left here will go into the left. That's my relationship. And the rest is pretty similar to the direct proportion question. And so it tells us now y equals to 4 when x equals to 8. So let's just sub that in. So y equals to 4 when x equals to 8. And we can solve for k. This is k divided by 8. So we multiply by 8 to get rid of the denominator. So this gives us 32 equals to k. And then we don't stop here. We go back to this equation. And so we say y must equal to k, which is 32, divided by x. This is my equation. And now part 2. So this was part i, and so for part double i, find the value of y when x equals to 16. And so we start with this formula that we found, and x equals to 16, so 32 divided by 16, and y naturally gives me 2. We're done. So when x is 16, y is 2. Finally, let's look at part triple i. The value of x when y equals to 0 0.8. So once again, we start with this relationship. y is 0 0.8, and so we want to find x. So to, to do this, x is in the denominator, so let's just multiply both sides by x. So this is 0 0.8x, and the x's cancel out. This is 32. Next step, we want to get rid of this 0 0.8, so let's divide both sides by 0 0.8. They cancel out, x equals to 32 over 0 0.8, and this gives me 40. And there you go, an example of inverse proportion.